All right, guys, so I think I just found a way that allows you to disable anyone's helicopter, and it's kind of crazy. This also goes for cars and literally every other vehicle that allows towing, so it's pretty overpowered. Because this literally allows you to disable anyone's vehicle no matter what, it's just the, you, you, they can't do anything about it. But just got my alt account to hijack that helicopter and basically uh, what you gotta do is you gotta get a helicopter or any other vehicle that can tow something and what you have to do is pretend my alt account is you, you gotta get your helicopter or tow truck and what you wanna do is you wanna put down your your what's it called the rope and you want to pick up the car once you have the car picked up all you have to do is just drive away with the car you got to try to swing it away so that it disconnects from your rope this might be a little a little bit difficult but you'll get it eventually and there we go and now as you guys can see my helicopter is flying away the rope is still attached to the car so if i come back you will see that the rope will automatically come back and try to reconnect and you can see that it's pulling my car over there but now that my helicopter ran away and it disconnected from my car i still can't use my car because it counts as connected to a rope so since i'm still technically connected to that rope i cannot control my car which that's pretty much what disables your vehicle it's pretty simple to stop this glitch all you have to do is either shoot down this vehicle which will disable the rope or you can just get the other helicopter to pull up the rope and then it will let you go free so now that it pulled up the rope i should be able to enter again and i can drive again now a good method to get the vehicle off of your rope is just come over here to one of these mountains and just bang the car against the wall here and actually i already disconnected it somehow um you could just wiggle it around or you can Wait, I'll just show you guys what I'm trying to say. You can get the vehicle, and if you fly over like this, just look at my alt account over there. I'll put, go into cinematic mode so you guys can see this. As you guys can see, my helicopter is right here. My car is on the rope. I gotta bring my helicopter like this, and then it will rip the rope. And you wanna know what's really funny? Even when it's disabled like this, and the rope is still connected to this, and it's all disabled, you can still enter the vehicle, and if someone is robbing the jewelry store and you do this to their vehicle and they try entering it after a bunch of camping cops is coming after them they'll hop in their vehicle and they'll think they'll be able to escape from the cops and like they'll try uh, like spamming all their keys and stuff and they won't be able to drive and they'll just be like what the heck happened to my car it's it, my keys are not broken because my wheels are moving but why can't i move but if you're doing this glitch just make sure not to come too close with your helicopter or, or for some reason the car will just get sucked to the rope and it'll try to reconnect as you guys can see it's just uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's weird. I still don't know why this exists and why a SEMO allowed you to like enter vehicles that are disabled like this. But I mean, I'm not complaining because this allows me to disable anyone's vehicles without them even knowing like that it's disabled. I was like, look, the helicopter is connected to my vehicle and like, uh, when you're not in the car, it doesn't look like anything is off. Like, you just get in the vehicle and it does not work. There's nothing that shows that it's disabled at all. Literally everything but going forwards and backwards and stuff is completely disabled when you're doing this, so it's pretty overpowered. And yeah, once again, if you want to stop the glitch, you got to either shoot down the vehicle, which I will quickly show you guys. It will disconnect the rope. There we go. There is my alt count. And if we go ahead and shoot him down, the helicopter's rope should disconnect from the car and why isn't this shit yeah you guys can see that the rope had disappeared and if i go over here to my car i will be able to drive it again perfectly fine you can also just pull up the rope or you can just get this person to jump out of their helicopter which will disable the rope by the way you can also do this with helicopters so it's not only with cars so if i get my tow truck and i try to glitch this car i i, I think the tow truck isn't strong enough okay screw you tow truck i'm gonna go get an army helicopter this isn't working so yeah if i come over here and i quickly attach my rope to the vehicle i should be able to do the glitch with the helicopter and what the heck was happening with it it just started wiggling and like dancing for some reason okay and did it even connect what the heck oh no it's still connected to the tow truck okay this is yeah okay just let go of that and yes as you guys can see i just did it with the helicopter and if i bring my alt over here you guys can see i'm pressing wasd and i cannot move i'm pressing e and q 
I cannot do anything and for some reason I'm just constantly moving forward. What the heck? Okay, that's a little bit weird, but yeah, you could just press G and the glitch will be disabled and I should be able to fly normally. Oh, what the heck? Oh, you gotta jump out and get back in for it to actually register. Okay, you gotta actually like jump out of the helicopter and get back in again for it to actually register that the rope is no longer connected. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this glitch. I mean, cool little small thing. I mean, it's actually not quite small. It's pretty big because you can literally disable anyone's vehicle with this thing. It's pretty overpowered. Honestly, I'm expecting it to be patched within the next few days because this is pretty overpowered and honestly I don't think Simo would like this in the game because literally disabling someone else's vehicle with literally no issue is quite overpowered and it really isn't that good for the game because yet yeah, it will get annoying quite quickly. And I really wish that I was a criminal right now because I just flew over from Crater City right here and I just perfectly got into the plane. I mean, this would be a perfect robbery, but nah, I just have to be a cop. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed it or you found it helpful in some sort of way, please consider leaving a like or maybe even a subscribe if you haven't already because it really helps me and the channel a lot. But yeah, hopefully you've all enjoyed it and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Oh yeah, by the way, tell me in the comments if you guys like my uh, half super, half semo, <laughs> I have a time, <laughs> kind of weird.